You guys were actually in my pool. Yeah, they both kind of shrek me. <laughs> yeah, Soto's actually playing super on point. It doesn't even matter that he's playing Samus, because he might still beat him. Soto's literally nerfing himself because he knows how powerful he is. So if you were to play Kirby, he'd just roll all of us. Nice get up attack there. Don't really expect that. Alright, back air sweep. Oh, messes up the fair and gets back aired. Oh, nice fair. Oh, bad up B. Yeah, he's been, he went for a lot of those in my set, but I don't really think he knows how to follow DI because I was getting out every time. Dash back F smash. The classic Kirby. Oh, no Nair. There's the Nair. Alright, Soto offstage should be pretty easy for Bard. No, why are you going for a back? Just go for the back here. Don't go for the downer there. Like, Samus is so trash, you don't even need to spike her. Alright, Bard, being the lame he is, goes back to center stage. You know your character's better, just exert the pressure. There it is. Down air, back air. So does bread and butter. Every Samus main's bread and butter. I'm calling a full hop fair right now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it seems like Soda really likes using the fair as an anti air. Anti air, my bad. Down air, catches the jump of the down air. Shield drop down air. No downer. Run up back here. Great zero to death by Soto. It's insane. A nice combo. All right, now looks like Bard went back to center stage. Wait for Soto to throw out a bad option just so he can punish it. Soto double jumps back to ledge. Goes for the getup attack while he still can while being at 98. But now he's above 111. It won't work for him now. Double jump. Gets the ledge. Ledge hop fair. The Samus. Doesn't get punished. Does it again. Gets the F kill. Gets the tech read. Oh no grab. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It was over the moment we went for the grab. Alright, no catch for the back air. Oh, there's the back air. We found it. Down B? Oh, no. Down B at ledge is really good at preventing um, Kirby from up being. So you can down B, and then you can um, either um, drift to ledge and hold ledge. And if they stay too far away, you can ledge hop back air. Or if they weave in, they either get hit by the bomb, or you can ledge hop jump it, uh, down air. It's a really good trap, especially against Kirby. Against characters that have to go to ledge, basically, it's broken. Oh, up air and air. Still has a jump. That's free. Oh, there it is. So does super fast. You say what you may. Say what you may. But his Samus makes it look like a good character. Yeah, that was a bad down air there. Actually, both of them. Those are pretty noob approach options. Nice getup attack. Dash attack? Oh no, it gets shield grabbed. And Soda make it back? Oh no, Bard drops the edge guard. Soda makes it back. Shields the F smash. Down here's a mount shield. He's trying to go for the back here. He's got a rope and ledge. That's the Bard. Catch a jump on the back here. He's gonna do a jump read. Right now. Oh no. There it is. He gets hit by one more of those. Bard might uh, be too far off stage to make it back. Soda might be able to successfully edge guard him. Oh, he gets an air. Saving the jump. Good job. Oh, hits him out of the F smash. Bard's nervous. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he snipes him with a backer. Doesn't get hit by the air. Oh, no. 
Shield pokes him. He tries to shield drop down here. <gasps> Boom! He's got his jump back. Oh! He barely misses him with that. This is so close right now. This is only game one. Back here! Nair! Why would you Nair? Back here! Nice bump trick. Oh no! He ducks under it. Oh! No back here. You can shield drop back here. Alright. Oh no, it's over. No back throw. Why not F throw? F throw was over. You did a back throw. Oh no! He missed the Z cancel and still lives. Oh no! He's off stage. This is so tense right now. Part of the low pop off. Very close game one. Everyone's shaking in their boots. Looks like Yole has to leave. He's bidding farewell, waiting for that hype match to end. Soto Fox, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. Just fuck. Just play. P no, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Soto's playing Fox right after he almost beats him in the Samus. He's gonna get wrecked, dude. <laughs> Are you leaving? Oh, okay, see ya, Nix. Is audio really a couple seconds late? Or am I just really have really bad reaction times? I guess a jab up smash. Man, Bard's doing some nice platform tricks, but Soto's not falling for it. He's just staying in the corner knowing the Bard won't approach. Up be high. No flat. Oh, sneaks under him. Nice. Oh. All right. Bard's still having trouble taking off Soda's first stock. Oh, back here's him out. Oh, gets the F air, but gets that nice DI. Weak fair up smash. There it is. Okay, so it's desynced. So the big mic is desynced. All right, so I'm gonna have to use the headset mic. So it goes. All right, so Twitch chat, press one if you'd rather have handheld mic that is desynced, or press two if you'd rather have headset mic that absorbs a lot of background audio. Two. Well, it's one option. Oh no, it's close. It's 50 50 right now. Two. Two it is. Alright, there we go. So it looks like this one sinks, but it is a bit scratchy. Alright, goes with a jab at ledge. Soto trying to just laser him out. Build up percent so we can get a fair up smash. That's what my guess is. No, don't jump towards him. Neutral jump away. Alright, teleport. No, shield stop. Teleport up smash would have been nice. Oh no, gets cheese. Grabs the ledge from right under his nose. I think this might be a four stock comeback if Bard just beats him right now. Because Soto ha um, had four stocks to two. Alright, so he took care of three stocks of that single stock. Bard did, that is. So now it's the last stock. 
game two. Let's see if Soto can uh, amount to Bard score one, or if Bard can take a massive lead going up 2-0 against Soto. Down air, down tilt. Oh, let, goes for the grab. Dash attack, that was a horrible option. Somehow gets him with a short hop back air. Gets an air out of his fair, that's unfortunate. Oh no, don't jump towards him. You gotta out Kirby the Kirby. You can't just go in when he wants you to. You have to go in when he does something stupid so you can punish him. Alright, coming from above is a great idea right there and it almost works out. Alright, goes for another back air. How cheesy. Oh no, up be high? Drift on? Drift up to ledge, nice. Dash attack on the side of the shield. Goes with weak fair, nice, gets it. That smash, down smash, there it is. Sort of taking game two with his fox. That must hurt Bart's pride a little. Let's see how the set progresses from here. If Soto will even stay fox, who knows? Because the problem with dealing with the solo main, and then playing against the solo main that is, is usually they don't switch out. But it looks like we may see that from Bard right now. He may try to, oh, he's staying curvy, all right. Stay confident in your main, good job. It seems like he may have switched, he was gonna switch to Pika, perhaps. But I think he realized he'd rather get better at the matchup than just pull out a counter pick just to place higher in the tournament. Cause he's already out of his pool. So take this set for training purposes. Sure, it's nice if you get first seed outside of D1 from your pool, but honestly, uh, it doesn't really matter because everyone here is around the same skill level except Hero Pie. All of those that advance to here, uh, um, past D1, anyways. Pretty much everyone else can beat everyone else. And yet, there's only a select few here that can beat Hero Pie. Oh, hits him with a weak back air. Oh, he's too low. Yeah, that's a shame. That always feels bad. Oh, no short up up air. He just stays under against down air. Oh, get up attack. No ledge hop aerial. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know if, how many people know, but if, once you spawn off flat as Fox, if you just hold either direction, do an aerial, it will always edge cancel off top flat. Oh. Getting a shield down air right there. Gets out of the pressure, though. I could have spelled disaster if Bard got the up tail out fast enough. Jab, up smash. There it is. Yeah, drill jab is honestly like probably the lamest stuff you can do as Fox, but sometimes you just gotta realize that it's all you can do against broken characters in the matchup like this. Oh, tries to shark him with the up air. A little ambitious. If Bard back aired, it would have beaten him right there. Oh, no, that's a bad shield pressure. Alright, good job moving out of the range of his shield punish option. Oh, he should have gone for a reverse fair double jump back here. Would have been the most percent he could have gotten in that situation. Oh, he got down air comboed right there. Oh, nice full drift, no fastball. He tried to catch it. Yeah, laser jab up smash. Up air, nice. Yeah, Bard's not DIing these jabs very well. Honestly, it's pretty easy to DI out of drill jab. That's why you don't see it too much at the top level. But it still, like, caught him. I was surprised. Yeah, I know, it works out, but that's because he's so good at drifting during his short hop down air that it's, he catches DI. But Soto was just doing down air in place and Bard didn't DI out. But we can see his DI is strong because he DI'd that up air. I think it's just his familiarity with getting jab up smash after drill. I don't think he's used to it. Because you should be ja I mean, um, you should be DI'ing behind Fox, um, behind where he's drifting, that is. So if he's drifting backwards, then um, DI forwards, or vice versa. Alright, drill up such. There it is. You see? He's not good at DIing out of that. He didn't even DI too well out of the jab. So he had two opportunities, but it didn't work out. 
All right, can Soto steal this back is the real question, because Bard was ahead for the majority of this match, starting off with a strong two-stock oh, lead. The up air. Up air sends him off. I think he wanted the up tilt, but he accidentally um, double jump up aired. Oh, back air, back air. Drifts too far away for Bard to punish. Roll. There it is, back air, back air, fair. Up smash, there it is. All right, Soto takes game three, going up 2-1 against Bard. Let's see if he can take this entirely with his box. That would be some mad disrespect from Soto to NorCal. Soto not even playing at his best with one of his weaker characters. is playing against Bard right now and kind of rolling him with his box. It seems close, but honestly, he's just getting so much mileage out of his punish game. So he's doing a good job of camping the top plat right now, not letting Kirby get there first. It's definitely a good idea to steal it from them before they can. Ooh, text that. Oh no, don't go for that pair. Up air, if anything, because if they land on the plat, I'll catch them. Oh, F smash, no. F smash catches them if they don't have a jump like that. No, a teleport fair would have worked there. Back air? Oh no, he's too far ahead. Yeah, Bard has a habit of that when recovering, trying to stay right above his opponent, no matter the character. It's good in certain matchups, but against the characters like Pika and Fox, it doesn't work too well. Or even Falcon. It's because they have such good um, uh, disjoints upward, being their up airs. Some nice tomahawks around Bard's shield. Gets the up tilt, tries to go for a double jump fair up smash, but he misses. It's too late. Soto going in with a light chop double laser. Back air. Oh, tries to go for the grab. F tilts him out of the way. Oh no, he misses the up smash. That's unfortunate. All right, Bard's gonna try to beat it out with a backer, but Soto recovering high, knowing Kirby's options. But then, uh, can Bard cover this too? Okay, good job. Bard bringing it back, three stocks to three, but Soto has a massive percent advantage, and when you have a percent advantage, stuff like that can happen. He almost got that uh, drill jab up smash again. It was just a tech error that prevented it. Oh no, no jump. Oh, he makes it through. Who knew? Back air? Lasers. Short up back here. Weave back. Weave back too far back. Doesn't get back on stage. Doesn't get punished. Reverse fair. No first hit up air up air. Oh no. He just grabs him. I thought he was going to roll. SKG is doing hard read up F smashes. I mean up smashes because he's not a virgin. Oh, edge cancels that fair. That's a really nice uh, um, movement. Oh, there's an air. Yeah, good job. All right, two stocks to two even percent. But in this matchup, nothing's even. Oh, no F smash. Goes for the back air. Oh, there's the F smash. Double jump up B, up B high. Gets back air. Good job following the drift by Bard. All right, can Soto bring this back? Can he end it right now? Or is this going to go to game five? Catches him, catches him with the lasers. Uh, lasers. Barden's staying pretty patient. Oh no! Soto makes a mistake. Doesn't get punished. No fastball dare from Bard. He doesn't want to mess up. He's too nervous. Oh, that's really nice. Um, quick double jump movement from Soto. He's been doing that a lot. The double jump behind fair. Oh no! No roll away. Doesn't get grabbed. Short ops out. Oh, shield stop, but it reacts after the shield stop too soon. Oh, catches him with the up air. Sharks him right there. All right, 50% to zero. Last stock, Bard's tournament stock in uh, D1. Let's see if he can bring this back. 
No shine out of shield. No short off up air. Oh, trying to make it back. Oh, goes for the down air. Just go for the back air, rinse and repeat. It's free. But he decides to spend his last dollar on that down air. And maybe he, Soda's going to put him into bankruptcy right here for the fastball fair. Oh, gets back thrown. Up he's high, out of the range. Oh, outranges the up tilt with a fair. Unheard of. Gets him in the back air. What right up back air? Back air. No, gets shield grab. It's not over yet. It's not quite over yet. Soto can still bring this back. Goes the short off air, misses. Gets cup. Double jump is not lost. Oh, he makes it through. Soto makes it through. Oh, gets short hop and aired. Up be high. Up be high. Drip back. Oh, no, he gets caught. All right, we're going to game five. Let's see, Bard, Soto, game five. Who gets top seed out of D1 into top eight bracket? Because it's top two out of D1. So both these guys are making it out, but who will be seeded higher is the question. Pika Kirby. Soto gives him a little bit of respect, a smidgen of respect, but Bard may even find this more comfortable. Maybe the only reason he's performing poorly against the Fox was matchup familiarity. And maybe Soto switching to Pika is a bad choice. Maybe Bard has better Pika matchup knowledge than the Fox knowledge. Ooh, nice platform movement right there. A lot of runoff aerials coming from Soto. Runoff up air. Up air? Fair. Up air? Oh, uh, back air. No up air. Up air. There it is. Yeah, this joint's really strong on that. Once you know the matchup, and once you know how each character moves and how each of their hitboxes work, it's a pretty copy paste from Topeka's end against the Kirby when he's off stage. Oh, down air? Oh no, out of percent. You can do it. Oh, that was some really tricky drift. Jab grab after the up tilt. And not just jab grab, it was a turnaround jab grab. Up east to ledge. Oh, unfortunate. He wanted to go straight up and then down at the ledge, but he went upward right and then down towards the ledge, so he got spiked himself. Oh, gets the up air, sharks him. Nair, nice. Good presence of mind, knowing that you shielded that and that the Nair would be his fastest option. Oh, what? No turnaround on the down tilt. He's got him off stage. Is he gonna catch him with the back air? Oh, Soto jumps above him. Goes with fastball fair. Tries to shark him with the back air. F smash. Good outrage. Good option. Outranges his aerial. Gets him with the F smash. Nice disjoint. Very risky, but high reward. Soto goes up a stock. This is a very tight battle. Hits him with the back air. Trades with the down tilt. Sage advantage goes to Bard. Bard. Oh, he zip taps out. Oh, and he drifts, but he can't. gets caught. Ooh, catches him with the up tilt. Down air. If he hits him with one more aerial before he grabs ledge, it's over. But he grabs ledge. Fastball nair, what was that? Fastball bear every time. A bear? Oh, it misses. Oh, no. Bard starts off a combo. Goes for the nair, doesn't go for the down air or for another up tilt. Catches him with the up air. Misses him with the up tilt. Oh, no jab grab. He won the jab grab. He's turned facing the wrong way, but if he did that, he might have recovered fast enough to do what, react to whatever Bard was going to do. Oh, catches him with the up tilt back here. That's it. Oh, no, Bard's off stage, but he's not dead. Not down for the count quite yet. Checks off the down air. Up he had shield. There it is. Edge cancels. Nice. Good job mixing that in there. Tries shark with the up air, but he gets caught by the down air in the F smash. Bard goes up a stock. Let's see, can Soto do this? Can Soto bring this back? This is definitely the biggest buster move you can do is not go peak of the entire set and then go peak of the last game and lose. Ooh, it's a down air. 
Okay, you see, um, Gokos, here's the thing. You're not gonna try that one. It's game five last stop. Because if you miss, it spells disaster. Oh, goes for the up air, up tilts. Tries to F tilt him off the ledge. Oh no! It claims! Yep, he's away! He tries to DI out of the down air to up tilt, but he still gets caught because Bart doesn't turn around. Oh, tries to catch him with the up tilt. Oh no! That's an ambitious double jump from Soto. Oh. Yeah, Soto, come think of it, Soto hasn't really gotten any back throw kills yet. It's been all edge guards. F tilts him. That might be it. There it is. All right, Soto wins three two. Last stock, last hit. Insane. Man, that was really close.